In this video, I'll walk you through on how to create wedding invitation card from a template using AI for free. Let's just get right into it. All right, to start with, you have to get a template you like that you want to use for this design. All right, so I have got in mind so you can get over the internet, download any wedding invitation card template of your choice. Okay. So let me show you mine in this case. I'll click on File Explorer. Then I'll get to Pictures. And I'll get to Tutorials. Double click. Okay. I'll double click on this. This is the template I want to use. Okay. So I'm going to, you know, wipe out the information here. Have my own text. Um, my own thing. The way I want it. All right. So you get your own template okay that you want to use for this tutorial all right so let's do other things okay so i'll close this all right the ai2 we are going to use here is copilot all right so if you're a windows 11 user it comes pre-installed on it all right you can see it here pin at this taskbar area but here for us to be on the same page irrespective of the kind of pc you're using whether it's Mac of or Linux, we're going to do this using the web. Okay, so I will launch my Edge, Microsoft Edge browser, for us to continue. All right, so my browser has opened, so I will search for Microsoft Copilot. So I will press enter. Okay, so it has showed up, and this is Microsoft, the one pointing at copilot.microsoft.com. That's what you need. So, even if there are some other links here, please get to the one pointing at Microsoft Copilot. So, I'll click on this. All right. So, as the browser opens, the next step here, as the page opens, the Copilot website, you can see Copilot, copilot.microsoft.com. You need to upload that template. So, click on the plus sign, select upload. Then, navigate to where you save that. A folder you save that my pictures and then another folder i called tutorials so i'll get to it double click on it then click on the template and click on open so wait for that to load and then you instruct this ai to what to do so let me instruct it on what to do okay here my instruction reads change roots and matthew to olivia and godwin you can see that root and Matthew. After that, erase every other text and icon on the card while maintaining the card design and background color. All right. So you're going to tell it what you want it to do. So once you're done with your prompt, just click on this for it to give you feedback. All right. This has returned some designs, okay? A design as it erased the other one. You can see I have Olivia and Godwin. And I will advise when you're prompting this, please, once it generates a new image, download it, okay? So that if it loses its memory along the line, you can upload it again and continue creating from there. So click on this download button for it to be downloaded. All right, so let me get to the downloads folder of my file explorer for us to see how this looks. And you can see it's a wonderful design, Olivia and Godwin. But we are not yet done, all right? So let's go and prompt it on what next we want it to do. So I'll close this. Okay, and the next task I want it to perform is add the code, two hearts, one love, one unforgettable day to the card. And I say, leave enough space after, after that for other information. So I'm now chatting with this AI to telling him what I want him to do. So once you're done giving it another prompt, click on this for it to give you some returns. Okay, here we are. It has returned is two hearts, one love, one unforgettable day. All right, that's the quote. The quote can be anything of your choice. Okay, so what I need to do next is to download this as backup, so in case it loses its memory along the line. So I'll click on download. 
and it has been downloaded okay so i'm going to prompt it to do another thing for me so i'll click here and type my test and my test reads add venue 126 mr ben street new york that's ny and date 12 no, 12th november 2025 on the card please note after this when i get to this stage once i get to this stage when i'm on this stage i can pick this and place it on canva and redesign the rest but because i want us to keep prompting let's do it there's nothing wrong with that okay so it's your choice so i'll click on this for it to carry out the task so it's redesigning and adding something on the card okay this has returned this for us and i'm going to download it again so by clicking on this download button and you see something about this ai tool it gives you suggestions on what to do okay you can see all set the card now includes venue 126 mr ben street new york date 12th november 2025 now look at what it says here it says these details are placed nearly below the code keeping the design elegant and spacious for additional information you might want to include okay later like rsvp dress code or special message so what it's trying to say here is that in case you have forgotten you can still add rsvp okay so as i have downloaded this i can even pick it and get to cover and add the rest of them but no problem let's see if we can prompt again here so so if you want to add these informations it's reminding you of what to do then i want to prompt it to do another one for me which is the time okay then on your own convenient time you can add the rest so let me type the message i wanted to you know carry out here and the last prompt reads add time 12 pm on the card so i'll click on send so it's going to create that for me and add it even if it doesn't get it right what will i do i can pick the previous design this one and go on canva and add the date myself that's right so but what i'm saying here telling you here is that this is a sample on how to do this okay wow and it did the job correctly it has returned added the date the time sorry in this case so what do we do next i will click on this download for it to be downloaded so now that this has been downloaded let's just get to me the downloads folder of my file explorer to see how this looks like so i will refresh this because i'm already in the downloads and double click on this okay as it opens i will click on this olivia and godwin okay you can see it makes a mistake here but i can still prompt it to correct that okay but for the sake of time no problem okay this is how to do it if it makes mistake along the line correct it until you get what you want all right and it's a clean design if you want to watch more content like this consider subscribing to this channel thank you and see you some other time